All right, so in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how to find unusual options activity. So stay tuned, I'll give you some insight in this episode. All right, so first you might be wondering, well, why would I want to look for unusual options activity? And that is basically because uh, now you're looking at activity from the side of, hey, what are other people trading? And if they're trading it, that means there's more liquidity. That also means the stock could be heading up higher or lower. It doesn't necessarily imply direction, but it just shows you that, hey, there's more activity there, which means there's something for you to watch out for. And if you have these things on your radar, it may give you a good indication of, hey, maybe you want to try a strategy. Now, again, that doesn't necessarily mean you know the direction that it's going on. So you could set up non-directional trades, you could set up bullish trades, bearish trades. Uh, but what you can do is evaluate saying, hey, there's something going on here. And that'll give you a chance and opportunity to trade or play. So when we look at um, the Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade platform here, there's a lot of stuff going on. And what you want to do is when we're looking for unusual options activity, we're going to go in and we're going to go to the scan tab. OK, so uh, what you could also do is you could go in and hit the control uh, four key and that'll bring you into that area as well. Now, what I'm going to do is you could go over here to the right and load scan stuff. So there's a bunch of stuff here like top 10% gainers, NASDAQ, top 10 sizzling stocks. So this will give you some stocks uh, right there that are sizzling already. But what you could do is just go in here, click this sizzle as well, and it'll just give you that kind of a sizzling effect, okay? And uh, what sizzle means here is if we increase it here, here's the sizzle index. It basically tells you of what uh, range uh, of activity is there. So if I got like a 5x uh, or a sizzle of five, it means it's trading like five times larger than, than normal. So what I wanna do is set up my own scan. And if I'm looking at just all stocks, right here i want to say last price of let's say uh, 25 dollars at most we might want to look at maybe uh one thousand dollars uh with a volume of let's go with uh nine hundred thousand uh, in a volume uh i don't want to deal with anything market cap uh, but what i might do is uh we'll just leave it as is and now we'll just scan okay uh, market cap, it says 35 million. Let's change this to a beta of kind of a uh, minimum of, of one. Okay, so that kind of eliminates things. I'll go in and change the amount of things to show me to, you know, let's go into uh, 500 because what you could see is my results. I've got about 600 results. So I could go in and change it to about uh, 500 results. Remember, the more results you choose, a little bit uh, takes a little bit of time to load so and then what I can do is sort by sizzle index here so as it's sorted there it is I could also move that column over here and uh, now what you can have uh, is see those different stocks so here we have HASI uh, and if you look up the chart HASI and there we go we pull up the chart it's basically showing some interesting activity is what it's saying from the option side and when you look at this right here, you could see the stock is also moving. Now, again, this doesn't necessarily mean it's moving the most. The sizzle index is just something's going on underneath that surface. Because when we look at this, it doesn't tell me that the stock's actually moving. The percent change would do that for you. So when you sort by percent change, uh, that is actually what's telling you, you know, the, the range of movement of percentage wise. Whereas the sizzle index doesn't necessarily do that for you. So when you look at, hey, something's unusual, uh, this is where you're looking at, hey, I've got something going on, S-Y-N-H. So let's take a look at some of these, S-Y-N-H. And you can see it's barely moving, but there's something unusual from the options side. And um, what you could do is also pull these up, S-Y-N-H on this platform, S-Y-N-H. And you could go to option statistics, and what you'll see is you've got uh, put call ratio, sizzle index, call sizzle index right here. Uh, overall, there's uh, also look at this number calls to puts. And that's what makes it a bit more interesting because you can see we've traded a thousand almost calls, but only like two puts. And that's what's very unusual, right? Um, that's kind of uh, different. So 
Anyway, so looking at this just gives you an idea of like something is weird going on. And again, it doesn't necessarily imply direction, but it's just showing you something's happening. And this could mean, hey, somebody just decided, hey, I'm just going to buy a thousand calls. And it could have been just one person. You have no idea. Uh, but it's showing you that something's happening uh, in, in that place. Maybe somebody knows something. I have no idea. But you can see the stock is kind of holding steady right now. And uh, we'll see. Maybe it'll break out. Maybe it won't. But it gives you an idea that something weird is happening within that options market. Um, now combine this with maybe the net change or the percent change. So QT, QTRX, it's got somewhat of a sizzle and it also has a little bit of a percent change. And that now gives you a little indication. Maybe something is happening with the price movement right now. QTRX and let's take a look. QTRX. And you can see it's, you know, we went down here in a big way. Now we're popping in a big way. So there's a lot of volatility going on in this area. And this is, again, something you may want to look at. Um, so let's go. Let's see what else we've got. Sizzle index. Uh, here is uh, MU, Micron. Uh, you can see it's down about 4%. Sizzle index of 6.5, which means like, you know, six times uh, the amount uh, in the option side. MU, so let's check this out, MU, and you can see, boom, we're selling off and it's kind of moving down. So uh, it just gives you an idea of, hey, there's something weird going on here, right? And uh, the price is moving with it. So that's how you could find some unusual options activity is just looking at the sizzle index. It doesn't necessarily imply direction, but it'll give you an idea. Uh, there's also a couple of cool things in here. Again, I'm not an expert on thinkorswim, just showing you top 10. Uh, gainers, losers, uh, all that stuff, top 10 sizzling stocks. So you could do these kinds of things and it, it'll pull these up as well. This, um, you know, shows you some, some, um, some stocks that are kind of moving, but this doesn't, uh, you know, this, this isn't always the best because you've got some that have very low, low volume. Um, so if I want to do something like that, I might want to bump this up to like, you know, $33 and kind of scan it on my own based on um, also the uh, the sizzle index and that way it's kind of my own personal scan but you do have some other cool stuff in here uh, that you could create from the, the scans top 10 uh, gains or active on the nasdaq and you could see those hey which ones are kind of active inactive and so forth. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of stuff that you could do in this scanner uh, tab. I just want to show you kind of the unusual options activity, uh, but you could play with it. There's there's a lot of things there. There's also option hacker. You could see like options, which I don't use as much, or seeing like spreads. What kind of spreads are people doing? Um, but stock hacker is kind of probably the bigger one that most people use. So anyways, I hope that helps, gives you some ideas for looking for unusual options activity. If you're just getting started or you want to see, hey, what's something weird going on, uh, then check that out in that section. And if you want to get some freebies that we have available to download PDF checklists, uh, mini little courses on option trading, uh, iron condors, calendars, diagonals, that kind of stuff, then check out some of the freebies that we have at this link or on our website at tradersfly.com. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.